We are now looking at a teaching video on the application of differentiation rate of change. We start with the symbol of rate of change. If you have a phrase like that, H increases at a constant rate of A cm per second. So the symbol will be since H is mentioned first, the H over, and as we talk about rate of change, is with the lapse of time. So time is the context. So dH over dt. Since it is increasing, then it will be a positive a cm per second. In this case, where you have V decreases at a constant rate, so the subject there is V, so dV over, again, rate of change refers to changes because time changes. So dt, you look here, decreases. So we will have to indicate by having a negative there, b cm cubed per second. So let's look at this in general. If a variable x varies with time t, the d x over dt is the rate of change of x with respect to t at any instant of t. Next, we look at constant rate. When we think about constant rate, then the variable will be in linear form, mx plus c where m and c are constants. If you differentiate the function here, you will get m, because when you differentiate mx, because it's an x term, you get the coefficient m. So now, x is said to change at a constant or another word for constant is steady rate and the rate is m so you can be sure if it's going to be a constant or steady rate of change, that expression you work from has to be a linear form. We also look at related rates of change. What it means is it's not just so straightforward, one variable, you have two variables here, x and y. You know, if you look at the case of cylinder, you can think of maybe one to do with area, one to do with radius. So there are two related variables. Or for that matter, you can look at the volume of the cylinder V, and you also consider perhaps the radius while in these two cases keeping the height as constant. So here, for simplicity, we just keep it to x and y. So the equation is related this way, y equals f bracket x. There are two items we want to relate together. One is the rate of change of y, and then the other one is the rate of change of x. So to relate these two together, 
This is how we do it. We consider dy over dt. This is how we form it. Take this, the dy, put it here. Take this, the dt, put it in the denom denominator place of another fraction. Now, in the end, you would see this as a symbol, not so much of an algebraic fraction. You refer to what you have here, dx over dt. That would just be the symbol dx over dt or the rate of change of x. Here, I'd like us to see this carefully. Whatever I box here, dx, that will also be the x. Of course, this is a symbol which cannot be cancelled off. This is your normal dy over dx. So these two rates are related in this way. Now I can also put it in other form. Like here, I can have dx over dt Then you have a symbol multiplied to another symbol. Take dx, put it here. Take dt, put it in the denominator place of another fraction. And you look, look at here, you have dy over dt. So that will be your dy over dt. Here, here, I box it, I box this one as well. These two items will be the same, even though I cannot do cancellation. But if I could, you see, cancel off, I'll get back dx over dt. But just as a reminder, symbols cannot be simplified. But it is just to have a quick check that you have the right equation. You can see this is dx over dy. Here you have dy over dx. The relationship between these two is clear. When you have dy over dx, it is actually equals to the reciprocal of your dx over dy. So if you wonder how you ever write the expression for this, you take the reciprocal of 1 over whatever you have for dy over dx. Still, we have another form of writing it. So if I'm looking at dy over dt, so dy over dt, this is dy over dx. Remember, y refers to f bracket x. So this is the first derivative of the function here. So I can write this as f dash bracket x dx over dt. So this is one way to do it. Or I can also write it this way. dy over dx uh, dy over dt is equals to I differentiate with respect to x the function of f bracket x so this will take care of this expression here multiplied to dx over dt so basically, they're all saying the same thing. This is similar to this and this. But this is keenly referring to what you have here, fx. You differentiate that, you get f dash bracket x. So we have come to the end of this teaching segment.